All right, all right, all right. On today's little tidbit of news we've got from the post millennial that California is wanting to keep child pronoun changes a secret from parents. Oh, you know, the people who raised said child. They want to make things that are meant to be public and personal excluded from the parents. That sounds dangerous to me. I wouldn't want my kid attending that school. You're a frigging coconut. What, what do you mean, kid? It's a metaphorical statement, stupid. Okay, sheesh. I, I look. I understand we had our disagreements from yesterday, but you seriously need to stop using inappropriate language. Like I've said, discipline is just as important as loving, and if you need to be disciplined, then I will do that. Okay, c sucker. Uh, uh, anywho, so, California, they want to keep pronouns secret from parents, but let us try it and understand their reasoning. But why? They're already f***ing weird for keeping secrets from their damn parents. Well, the reason is because you can learn something from everyone, be them stupid or not. It depends on if you want to learn something from them. You can learn something from everyone, but it is not every time that you want to learn from said person. Okay, well, it's California, the homeless department of planet Earth. It's like a buffet of homeless. And I don't really care to learn about the language called drug addict. Well, that that is pretty valid, but I have to make this video anyway so that I can talk about how honesty is the best policy. So let us continue with the reading because I've only just gone over just the title. But it says, The California Senate has approved a bill that bans schools from telling parents if their children want to change their pronouns unless the children give consent or other laws require it. Wait, so do the kids even know if the teachers aren't allowed to tell the parents? I am not entirely sure, Gerald. Also, what's the age of consent in California? Uh, l let me look that up. Well, uh, from a law firm that goes by the Neves Law Firm, they say, remember that California's age of consent is 18, meaning anyone under 18 cannot legally consent to any sexual activity. Right, but is the whole pronoun thing sexual? Because if not, then does that even matter for what I asked? That is a good point. And so I also wanted to cover my bases. And so I read the article a bit more and it states the bill seeks to prohibit school districts and governing bodies of other educational institutions from enacting or enforcing any policy, rule, or administrative regulation that requires an employee or contractor to disclose any information related to the pupil's actual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression, to any other person without the pupil's consent unless otherwise required by law as provided. Isn't sexual orientation different from sex? activity though? Well, I also looked up the definition for actual orientation and in short, yes, they are different. But as the definition goes, a person's identity in relation to the gender or genders to which they are actually attracted. Oh, so it's still sexual in nature? Yes. And so I would still call this something of an 18 and over type uh, level of consent. So California is still full of shit with their policies? Exactly. They're saying that the teachers can't disclose something about their child that is actual in nature unless the kid gives consent for that actual thing to be disclosed. If the kid even knows if the teacher is or is not allowed to even tell the parents. If I was a kid, I would just assume that the teacher is talking to my parents, like uh, things like teacher parent meetings or outside programs. So let me see if I've got this right. The teacher is essentially forced to keep things about the parent's child secretive, especially sexual things. I mean, essentially. To me, that sounds like a child's dream. They're allowed to keep things sexual secret unless the child gives consent to talk about said sexual thing. I mean... Or am I just reading into this incorrectly? I would say to a degree, yes. Because I hopefully doubt that this is where they want to go with this. But at the same time, I don't 
necessarily disagree with your thought path on this. I mean, take life like the flip of a coin. The human species is two sides of the same coin, men and women. And like the flip of a coin, we've currently got a bunch of the more far-right type people in the content sphere getting caught up in child-touching activities. And then, we look at the other side of that coin, which is the far left, and I can only guess what I see on that side. So you're suspecting that 2024 is the year of the people? I mean, we're only halfway through the year and there has been Diddy, Zerka, and Heel Mike, and then there are also accusations I, that I've heard about Fresh and Fit also having some of the girls that Zerka and Mike have had before, so I'm kind of just waiting for the next case to become public at this rate. And I mean, just the fact that Diddy was a prolific supporter of Democrats is also just a nail on the coffin for me. But it is also just a suspicion, you know? Right. Two sides of the same coin. If the one side of the coin is having pedophilic problems, then the other side of the coin is probably in the same boat. Right. It is a suspicion, but if the suspicion has to deal with trying to keep children safe, then I'm more for the suspicion, you know? Right. Like if a dude looks like the type, then I would rather him not be a teacher to the dude's type. Yeah, and so, in more or less full, I would rather that child touchers wants to be less of a normal thing. For example, child touchers colloquially like secrets. For example, a literal island that I can't even say on YouTube. And, especially, an area where the teachers spend a lot of time with said children, which the child then gains a report for the teachers. And I mean, just listen to cases of where the child didn't want to say anything because it was their uncle and they would be scared to say something to their parents because their uncle said, this is our secret and you can't tell anyone else about it. And how often do you even see your uncle compared to your teacher? Right. So then the child gains an even larger report with the teacher in comparison to the uncle. More report means more blind trust, and more blind trust means they must think that the secret is really important. And congrats, in a place with secrets held rampant, then what is just one more itty bitty secret, right? Honesty is the best policy, especially when children are in direct correlation with said honesty. And California trying to move towards more and more secrets held between the parents and the child just makes me feel more and more queasy with uncertainty with those children. California is just the worst place to live, isn't it? I mean, those are your words, but I can't say I totally disagree. Substances running wild, homelessness being just around the corner everywhere, and a pedophile's paradise where secrets are preferred. Just a f***ing great place to live and grow up in. Yep. But, uh, without further ado, let me know what you guys are thinking. Do you find this new bill to be suspicious or not? I'm definitely team suspicious. Gerald, uh, what do you say? I say that this whole bill just seems f***ing weird and does not move us to a more accepting world. It moves us to a more secretive and displaced world where child and parent can't even meet eye to eye because they just have a roadblock like teachers in the way between them. Yeah, I agree. But uh, let us know down below and perhaps show me some love by hitting that subscribe button to join the better generation that we will build by living in truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with our words and actions. And once again, for those who don't know, if this channel gets to 10k subs before the end of next month, I will be doing a, a I'll make a video of me selling smoothie treats for free. I mean that seriously. I, I'm not kidding by it. But uh, yeah. Anywho.